friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is actually going to be a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here. I did wear this look in my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Swatches video which will be linked in the description box and a whole bunch of you guys requested that I do a tutorial on this look and I told you guys that I would do it. So here I am. I'm doing it. The star of the show for this look for me is the Dose of Colors Ideal Duo in Sunset. I told you guys in my March favorites that I love these so much and I was telling the truth. I love them so much and Sunset is my favorite color of the bunch. It is just like a really warm bronze gold shade and I love it so much and I think with this like really warm toned crease it just looks amazing so I'm really glad that you guys like this look and if you want to see how I got it then please just keep on watching. So jumping right in I'm going to go into my Viseart Matte Neutrals palette and I'm going to take that transition shade on the top left corner. I'm using a MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to put this all in my crease. At this point you guys know I already have my foundation on and my brows done. I tend to do that just because I feel like it's weird to do my foundation then hop off camera to do my brows then come back. I feel like that's kind of weird so I tend to skip over that. But now I'm going into the Warm Neutral palette I think is what it's called. No no the Dark Matte palette. I don't know where I got those other words from but I'm using the same MAC 224 brush and this like really light orange shade you don't need this palette I'm pretty sure makeup geek chickadee is really similar to this shade so I'm just working this into the crease pretty much exactly where it works that other shade just so I can warm up the look we're going for like the warmest crease ever which I feel like I say in every single video because I'm always going for the warmest crease ever but I just really love warm tones tell me you guys don't tell me you don't now I'm going in with a Coastal Scents brush. This is the Pro Blending Fluff that you guys see me use all the time. And I'm taking that red color right next to the orange color. I wish that these colors had names, but Viseart is playing me and there is no names. But I'm just working this more directly into my crease. Like I said, we want things to be the warmest. Then with this darker red shade, this one has a little bit more of like brown undertones. It's really not a brown whatsoever. It just has like a little bit more of like a rusty brown feel to it. But I'm just going to work this pretty much exactly where we put the other red shade. We are going in with a lot of shades, but that's just because we want this to be really like a gradient. So we're just going to go ahead and blend with the MAC 224. No additional product on this brush. We're just blending for days and Elver is distracting me like always. What can I say? He's annoying. <laughs> then I'm going into the matte neutral palette again and I'm just going to grab this dark brown shade. I love this dark brown shade. Just so you guys know, I think this is one of the best dark brown colors ever. Well, I mean, I think Viseart makes the best matte eyeshadows in the game, period. But this brown eyeshadow is so dark and rich and chocolatey. I just love it. So I'm taking a more precise brush. I believe this one is by Morphe. And I'm just working this on my outer V and very slightly into the crease. I'm not really being super precise or blending at all. I just want to place the color down there. Then take my Coastal Sense Bro... Bro okay pro blending fluff brush and just blend that out a little bit more again I didn't add any color to the brush this time just because the colors from the Viseart palette are so like intense and vibrant that I don't even need to so now grabbing the base from the dose of colors ideal duo in the color sunset I'm just taking a MAC 242 brush and placing this all over my lid just right up to the crease and right up to the outer V I don't want to go past that because I already have that dark brown on in there and I love this I told you guys in my favorites video I am obsessed with this product so now I'm taking the pigment and I am taking it with the same brush I'm not really putting any glitter glue or spraying my brush at all because the base is tacky enough that it just like really grabs onto the pigment and I don't really have to do much to it then I'm gonna go ahead and conceal and highlight well not really conceal because this isn't really a concealer it's more of a highlight pen but this is the MAC prep and prime in the color bright forecast I think this is the darkest shade that they have uh, correct me if I'm wrong no this is I am wrong actually they have one a little bit darker than this one called peach luster but I like this one for my skin tone I didn't really feel like I needed a lot of concealer I just wanted to highlight the face so I just put this under my eyes the bridge of the nose the forehead you guys see me do this all the time then to bake I'm taking the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder like always with my damp beauty blender I still have yet to use the RCMA um, what's it called the no color powder but once I do you guys will be the first to know but I still haven't yet so I'll get back to you on that but now just applying some mascara to my lashes I'm using L'Oreal telescopic carbon black as usual and now for my lashes I'm using the blinking beauté in the number one 
When I originally wore this look, I had the number 3 lash on, but of course, shortly after that video, I did lose it, so we're going with the number 1 for today. They're the most similar that I can find in my collection. I did prefer the number 3s with this look, but the number 1s are nice too. Then of course, just wipe away your baking powder and then we move on to the lower lash line. I'm grabbing Fascinating Eye Coal by MAC. It's just a white eye coal. Whatever white eye pencil you have will do. This is just the one that I have. You will notice that I go really, really hard with my white eyeliner. And the reason for that is because... Okay, phone. The reason for that is because if I don't, my waterline will not take the color. So I have to go like really hard. Then I just took that dark brown from the Matte Neutral palette and just took a flat definer brush. I believe I was using the E15 by Sigma and just ran that right underneath the white eyeliner. Then with this like soft orange shade and a pencil brush, this is the E30 by Sigma. You guys heard me talk about all these brushes in my Makeup Brushes 102 video, but I'll be linking that in the description box, by the way, just in case you missed it. I'm just going to go ahead and smudge that out so it's not like a super stark, harsh line and instead it's like a little bit more smoky and blended. Then with ME122, which is an artist shadow by Makeup Forever, you guys already know my obsession with this color. It is my favorite inner corner highlight of all time. I'm just popping this exactly where I just said, in my inner corner. And then of course, just hit your bottom lashes with mascara. I feel like for this look, it's really imperative that you do that because otherwise it kind of washes out the lower lash line entirely. So these are the finished eyes, and now we're going to move on to the face. To contour, I'm using my favorite contour powder of all time, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in Earth. It's a little bit more on the warm side, but I feel like for my skin tone, it works out really well. So I'm just going to use the Makeup Geek Chisel Cheek Brush. You also heard me talk about this brush in my video. I'm just going to contour like always. Then with Copper Brown, which is a lot warmer of a shade, it has like a lot of orangey, reddish undertones to it, I'm going to take the MAC 135 brush and just bronze up the skin. I'm not really specifically contouring at all with this brush. I just like to go all over the face and just make myself look bronzy. Then with Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I guess I'm using a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills contour products. That was not intentional, but I'm just using this to contour my nose. You have to go with something a lot lighter. A lot more cool tone for your nose otherwise it will look crazy I think in my last video I used something like a little too warm tone and it didn't look that good then with blush then with blush okay that's cool then for blush I'm going in. I feel like I'm like racing with this thing I'm like no no no, don't go don't go so for blush I'm using right peach by Mac it was a limited edition but whatever peach blush you have I just feel like I have this one and I never use it so I just pulled it out of my collection not a highlight I'm using champagne pop because it is like one of the most gorgeous highlighters that has ever been invented I swear every time I put this on I'm just like so in love with it and I feel like every time I put this on and like I look back at a picture of me wearing this I'm just like that's definitely champagne pop because it's like one of the best highlights. You cannot go wrong with this. If you guys do not have this, which I'm sure you do because everyone really does, you need to go pick it up. And now it's permanent. So that's what's up. Now for lips, I obviously could not make my mind up because I used three different lip pencils. So the first one I use is, I believe this is Lumiere by ColourPop. I went in with this color first because I originally wanted something a little bit more pink. But I think on my skin, this just doesn't pull like... I don't know, it just doesn't look right on my skin for some reason. So I went with this first, and then I used a lipstick by Dose of Colors. Not a liquid lipstick, just a regular lipstick. This is the color Soft Touch. It is like a nudish baby pink color. So um, again, on me, it just looks really like white and pink. So I just applied this, and then I went in with Whirl Lip Pencil by MAC to try to make it a little bit more of like a mauve brown color, but then that still didn't work. So then I went in with a Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in Bellini. And I tried to make it a little bit peachier and then it still doesn't, like, I don't know. I, I just wasn't feeling my lips this day. Like, it just wasn't coming out how I wanted it to. Then finally I went in with this lip pencil in the color Taurus by ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. And I kind of put it on the outer perimeter of my lips, but then I also kind of filled it in a little bit. And I felt like this really did the trick. It made my lips look more peachy and that's like exactly what I wanted. So once you do that, then this look is complete five lip products later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.